Wilson. Thank you. Thanks for having us. Hi, my name is Tammy Wilson. And about five years ago, I was one of those tourists that came here with my four children and my husband. And at that point, this was the 49th state that we had taken them to. And it was the only place that everyone fell in love with. We went back home, stuck a for sale sign in our yard, and came up here looking like the Beverly Hillbillies with a packed bowl. So, uh, you know, we have two kids still in, at the university, and we have two right now that are out in the workforce. So, you know, this community has so much to offer, not just tourism, but jobs, just the whole way that we sell our community. People love it, and there's no wonder that it does. And I want to be on here because I don't believe in the sales tax, especially not because you're tourists. And I think we just spent too much money, and we really need to look at our budget more closely. Thank you. If we're going to do anything, I personally would like to have an increase in my room rate to help me offset the cost of fuel and insurance and all of the things that plague all the small businesses. And I can't increase my room rates and then increase my bed tax, too, because then the bottom line is so high that I can't sell my rooms. This summer I was part of a free concert in the park and actually was next to the police station. And we seemed to have more people who were intoxicated than we did regular people. And I was just curious whether you see this in a, in a lot of areas downtown in which people won't come to our, our local parks because of this. And if so, I know we have a great band system, but this is like during the daytime. Is there any kind of solution that you thought about so that people can use the parks and not be afraid to? But they didn't come from a pump house, it's too far away. <laughs> That's good. And they didn't come from the Bridgewater because we only have breakfast. <laughs> so um, I also happen to be on the Fairbanks Downtown Association, and um, we have um, set up with the help of a, a number of different um, community groups the um, community ambassadors that at the ice park. We're glad to have them back. I would just say we need to do the basketball tournament because that's what pushes them to Anchorage. So. <laughs> <laughs> well, it has an impact. My daughter works for Chena Lakes. She always has wonderful stories to tell about how they're looking for Chena Hot Springs and I end up at Chena Lakes instead. <laughs> and she took a wrong turn. The other thing is this last year when I flew back after visiting back home, I ended up sitting, behind, sitting between two gentlemen from Indiana coming up here for a convention for those who work in counties. And they were just fascinated. Where could they take a car? You know, where should they stay? Where's a good place to eat? Do we even have places to eat? I mean, they just really had no idea. Could they walk to a glacier? You know, I mean, it's just like every time I answered a question, they had another one, and they're just like, I could just tell by looking at you, you just love it here. And I was like, you know, people love this place or they hate it. There just seems to be no in-between. And once you kind of get here, you're not going to want to go back. And they are already looking forward to coming back before the plane even landed. So it was really awesome. That concludes round one.